The story that I'm about to tell you is very supernatural and what I had been through is not going to happen to everyone. It only happened to me because it's what I needed to believe. In August 2020, I was a lonely boy with hardly any friends. So my sister decided to invite me to a party at her boyfriend's house. So of course, as a lonely 18 year old, I hopped on my bicycle and went to his party. Leon, my sister's boyfriend, his parents were out that night. And so he invited a lot of people. As I arrived, I was amazed by the car that was standing in the garage. It was this old Spitfire from Leon's father. Then I went into the house through the back door and there was this hallway with a large staircase and an indoor railing at the corridor which was visible from that hallway. From that hallway there was a door on the left and a door up front. The door straight ahead led to the kitchen where all the booze was and the door left led to the living room. So I entered the living room and there was Eva, my sister and her best friend Lynn and also two other guys, Jack and Jasper, if I remember correctly. At the time, I kind of had a crush on Lynn, but she was not exactly into me. So instead of asking Lynn out, please go and ask the like button if you would like to organize a date for you and your beloved. Lynn was this kind of emo looking girl with dark hair and this eyeliner around her eyes. And Jasper was her ex-boyfriend at the time and he was kind of dressed by Lynn over time. So he also kind of looked like an emo back then. Jack was an Asian guy that I admired a lot. I can remember he was always mocking the Bible and reading it to then mock everything that was written by saying things like what's in the ass is this and he used swear words like I, I can't say those words on YouTube. Then after I was sitting there, I saw two more guys standing outside smoking a cigarette. One of them was Quinn, a guy with long red curly hair. And the other guy was somewhat familiar, but I could not exactly place it. He had this thick dark hair and his face had something. There was just something about him that I knew would attract a lot of ladies. So in the background, I heard Lynn say, who is that cute? And my sister Eva replied, that's Luke. I got a bit excited and thought she was talking about me. But in reality, this oddly familiar guy that happened to have the same name as me. When they got inside, I greeted Quinn and I went to this guy because I just had to know where I knew this guy from. So I said to him, I know you. And Luke replied to me and said he knew me too from free running. As it turned out, I had been free running with this guy three years before this event. So we had talked a bit about bees and flowers and then he went to his car with Quinn, Jasper, Leon, Lynn and Eva to smoke a joint with all the windows closed. It's called hotboxing by the way. So it was only me and Jack left in the living room. So I decided to crack open another beer together with Jack and we drank one after another. Then I noticed Luke still had the cigarettes laying on the kitchen table. So me and Jack decided to steal those cigarettes and smoke them all. We did not smoke them all at once. I mean, we still had some beers in between, so we both got very drunk and we were just kind of laying on the floor. Luke and everyone else came back inside and turned out Lynn had been rejected by this handsome Luke guy and they were all very stoned. Then Luke offered to bring some of us home in his Citroën C1 and I stepped in his car and he was driving and accelerating to speeds that were really scary. Like we drove 120 in 30 zones. I had never, never experienced something like that before. I was screaming out of fear of my life the entire ride until I got home. So I got home and a few days later I looked at my phone and I saw a text from Quinn and he asked me if I wanted to come and hang out with him and Luke. And I said, yeah. So after a few weeks of hanging out, it was kind of becoming a routine to hang out with the three of us. Quinn, Luke and me just driving around in his car, always looking for some cool spots to smoke some weed in nature. That became kind of our lifestyle and we did it on a daily basis as we were all unemployed and didn't have school anymore. But at a certain night we were smoking at our favorite spot in the wilderness. There was a small patch of trees surrounded by a small little gravel road and there were fields of grass all around. And it was nearly midnight and the clouds were blocking the stars so after about one joint Luke started talking to me about dinosaurs. And me who was obsessed with dinosaurs as a kid was really engaged in the conversation. And as the conversation went on, suddenly Luke said, in the new earth, there's probably going to be dinosaurs and we'll be able to travel between heaven and the new earth. And I found that super interesting. And I said, is that really going to happen? And Luke said, well, yeah, I think so. So I had a whole different view on Christianity after that conversation. And I just had to ask him, but how do I know if it's all real? On which Luke replied, you can just ask him. So without hesitation, I stepped out of the car and I was watching the dark clouds. I went for a piss and then I looked up to the sky and said, God, if you are real, please give me a sign. So as I looked up to the sky, expecting something to happen, since God was always like somewhere above the sky to my understanding, I saw a hole forming in the clouds and slowly but surely the clouds were forming something. 
and I got a bit of goosebumps and trouble breathing because all that I could think of was this god my friend told me about is about to come down or something and then the clowns formed into an opening shaped as the cross where Jesus died on I was absolutely speechless I was filled with extreme joy and I did not know what and I didn't know what and how and where I was just so amazed it's hard to describe what I felt when I saw this event happen so I ran as fast as I could back to the car and I opened the door so hard I almost ripped the door out from the car and I said guys God is real I just saw it Quinn was very skeptical about it and didn't really believe it but Luke oh my goodness Luke was so happy for me he got really excited too and so I had found the Lord that night in early October so what I concluded is that if you go to the Lord with expectation he will not disappoint you if you enjoyed the story of how I encountered God for the first time, please leave a like and subscribe for more. God bless and see you in the next video.